Okay, this. I've got it geared. Too much drag on it. It tries every now and then like that. It'll try. There's just too much drag on it. The bumping on the mags. I feel each cogging. I have to have this pretty, well, I guess it's not too tight. But it's, uh, it cogs here and there. No matter where you put it, it'll cog. So gear drive doesn't, uh, If I took this off, as I showed before, you can spin this and it will, at a point, turn it. But I just can't <clears throat> get the combination. It's not self-sustaining. Probably got this a little too close to these. These are 20 pound, 24 pound pole magnets. Now, it's too much drag in there. That's better. Yeah. So that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna go back to the uh, V shape and try that. Huh. Yeah, it's worth a try. 511 to 14. 22, 16 hours. Latest fail. Goes here. Same V gate, half of V gate right here. That's here. Single, three quarter inch diametric mag, spring, light spring, copper tube to hold it in one spot. That's to hold it there. You hold it down. Bearing. Not much room there, but it's enough. Offset wheel. Mm-hmm. Hold that down. Too much resistance as you can see. Push against that spring, but it needs that spring power that much minimum. Well, not minimum. To keep it if it went for any speed. As you can see, as soon as it hits the ramp, it slows it down. Too much resistance. Two offset discs on here. There's one. That's just a regular flat disc. That's not a flat disc or a ramp. Another offset. This. Hmm. 
this, uh, I figured it would work, thought it would work, but that's where it sits. See, if you get the timing right. It doesn't feel like it takes as much. I can feel it pushing against the thing. take much other than the twisting. We get up to a pretty good speed. See, look at this. It doesn't take much might be moving at three quarters of an inch. Hmm. Maybe I'll try something else. Oh, stop. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes.